Growing up during the Troubles in Northern Ireland meant Glenn Wallace had a vastly different experience of normal during his childhood, culminating in some odd occurrences when he first visited London as a teenager. The Coronation Street star opened up about the almost PTSD-like symptoms of being raised amid tragedy as he returns to the stage in Under the Black Rock, a dark comedy set in his hometown. The Belfast-born actor shared with Express. Co.uk some poignant recollections from his childhood, as he tried to explain, when you're growing up you're learning and the area of which you come from teaches you, adding, slightly embarrassing but I'll tell you anyways. A teenage Glenn came to the capital city on holiday with his family, and found himself at the Marks and Spencers on Oxford Street, facing a security guard at the entrance. He recalled, I stopped and lifted my arms, to be searched. He looked at me and I went, dude, just do it, he went, what? Just pat me down and then I can go on and he went pat you down? He had no concept. The baffled teenager also felt some concern for the policeman in London, adding, I'd seen the local Bobby walking down Oxford Street with a truncheon and I'm like dude, you're taking a bit of a risk. Our dudes walk around with armor lights and M16s and handguns. The actor is quick to add, I'm not saying this is right, I'm not saying it's normal, but when you grow up with it, it is your normal and until you get distance, be that geographical or time. It's almost PTSD because it does affect you. Now an adult, and back in London, the soap star reveals that the biggest eye-opener on how devastating his childhood was has been watching his friend's children grow up. Glenn continued, I have two very dear friends from art college in Belfast, one's from Belfast one's from Dublin. They live over here in England and they have two kids, 13 and 11. I look at their kids, not jealous, but I can be a little bit envious of their lifestyle growing up not even thinking about any of the stuff that me and their parents went through. I am delighted that they don't have to but I just look at it and go, what a different life they're going to have. Don't miss. Offensive Don French poster gets approval despite complaints, latest, Harry's not the brightest bulb says Piers amid swipe at Meghan, latest, Hugh Grant leaves Oscars fans disgusted with crude Oscars joke, latest, as the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement nears, comedy thriller Under the Black Rock serves as a timely warning from history. Speaking to Express.co.uk after a run of successful previews, Glenn is unabashedly excited as reveals that his mum is flying over at the weekend. He adds, she's going to come and see the show. I was three in 1979, so I have very limited memories of that time but I know 1989 when I'm 13. It'll be interesting to see what she thinks of it to be honest because that was her growing up. She had two young boys growing up in Belfast where bombs were going off, where people were being shot. This is more her story than mine actually to be fair. The actor also noted that the comedy aspect of what many deem to be a very solemn subject is vital, what we do have in Ireland across the board is quite a dark sense of humor. A gallow sense of humor that saw us through the 30 odd years of the troubles because if you didn't laugh what else could you do? The humor's important because it's part of our culture, part of our heritage. Under the Black Rock is showing at the Arcola Theatre until March 25th.